guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. So today I'm just gonna show you guys how I use my ProClick. Now I literally just got it and I love it. It's super addicting, I will say. I want to bind everything. Um, but I'm just gonna show you guys like a little clip in here of how to do it. So you can do it portrait or landscape. I will just show you guys how I make them um, or how I put together my books. Okay, but first off, I want to show you guys the actual pro click, real quick, pro click, real quick. Okay, uh oh. So it comes with little directions here. It also came with a little like tool that you open and close the binding. I don't really like it. I just do it with my hands. Um, but I will put a little picture on here to show you what it looks like. I don't use it. So I'm not going to show you guys how to use it because I think that's why I don't like it because me getting it started, it's like too much of a hassle. I'd rather just do it with my hands. Um, but this is the actual pro click. Um, you will see here that they have different little uh, edges, I would say. So there's this longer one and then there's like this little I don't even know how, oh, there it is. Okay, do you see the two different edges? So there's one like right here and then there's one here and it's the same on this side. So if you're using regular paper, you want to line it up with this inner um, little groove here. If it's a longer, like I'd say maybe if you're doing an oversized page, um, you can put it up to this um, and that's how you would line it up here. And then literally you just, voila it's done and then all the little um pieces of paper will go in here i just emptied it so there's not much in there um but that is this it also has little directions here on the back so if you wanted to do step-by-step -step directions it's here that's basically what it comes with um and then it shows the directions on here as well it's super easy I thought it I don't know I thought that you had to like put in different settings and stuff for the different sizes but I haven't found that you do that so I do it the way I'm gonna show you guys um, also I picked up these sorry for the rubber band I couldn't get it back in the box once I opened them um, I purchased these ones from Amazon and I purchased my pro click from Amazon and then these are let's see they are the half inch 25 comes in a pack these are the ones that hold 85 pages so that's the capacity of pages that it will hold let me just show you guys and these are for portrait um this is like a portrait size basically like an eight and a half by 11 size you know what i mean for a regular paper so also i wanted to mention that when you're using this it says that it's a six page capacity so that means you could use up to six pages in here when you um, poke the holes through it when you use this it works with six now for me it kind of feels tough i don't like how it's like kind of hard so i only do three and you think oh my gosh only three pages it's going to take forever it really doesn't it's not even like a hassle or anything but for me i'd rather it be easier and like have to do more than for it to be like hard to do and to do more pages. Does that make sense? Oh man, you guys, I hope this video makes sense for you guys. But so this is a six um, page capacity. Um, I only do three at a time. Now, when I do my book covers, I only do the one. I don't try any more than that because it tends to get a little thick and I will show you how I do my book cover and my book back. What are these? I got these from my binding. These are the pro click half size black spines this is the size is a 5 8 and it came with 28 pieces now these here hold up to 110 pages so this is for a landscape you know so if you have your paper this way instead of this way um this would fit on that and i will show you both of these and the last set that I have here, you can get all different sizes. These are just the ones that I have. The last set I have here is, these are also for landscape. Um, and these hold up to 85 pages. And these are also by my binding. And they are a half inch. So again, these hold as many as these, but these ones here, 
are different. So this is the half. So this is landscape and this is the whole and this is like a portrait. You know what I mean? The way your paper is going to go. So that is that. Again, I got this from Amazon and then I got the shorter ones from my binding. Also, I don't know where the other box is. I must not have grabbed it, but I picked up ones that are like this the longer ones for portrait um they are white i got them from my binding they are the half inch um i i lied to you i'm sorry they're not the half inch they are the five eighths because the white ones that i got will hold up to 110 pages i tried to find them in black but they didn't have them so i just got them in white and i'll show you one of the bindings that i've already done um with that one so those are just the supplies that i have that go with it I won't show you guys this one when I do it just because this goes in the center of it. Um, but this is basically a timeline that we're going to be doing. I'm going to just use my laminating paper. And then this is just a black piece of cardstock paper. Okay, so I'm just going to use this. Now you can use any color you would like for the back. But for the front one, this is going to be our front cover. So again, I picked a pretty piece of cardstock. You can even use the front piece of um, the curriculum you're going to be doing. Or I'll just show you an example of what I did of something else. But this for this, I, I'm using this was actually the front cover of it with other things on it. But I decided to cut around it and I'm just placing this on this really pretty paper. Um, that came in one of my nativity card stocks that I had purchased um, a few years back. So typically I would glue that on there with this, but I forgot to grab my glue. And I don't want to go get it because my son will then never want me to leave him. <laughs> He's in the family room with my husband. Um, so let's see. Okay, so that'll be the front cover and this will be the back cover. So I'm going to go ahead and laminate that because my laminator is ready. Here is the back. Here is the front. So this here, I just need to trim around the um, trim here. And the same thing with this one. And I am going to be using my cutter. So that is it for these. Now you're going to want to take your cover and you're going to want to take your pro click. Now you may not be able to see the whole thing here, okay? You see this first little like lip right here and then you have the upper piece of gray. Um, you want it just to go against the bottom one. Um, so you just want to make sure it's pushed all the way in, all the way from the bottom to the top, because if you don't, it's going to obviously not poke the hole. Um, for me, I kind of hold onto it here with this just to kind of brace it. And then there you go. Now you will see that it takes a little bit off the top here. And I usually just cut that off. So what I do is I just clip it off right where the edge is. Now what I've been noticing is when I do cut it along the edge here, it does not separate when you laminate it. Like I was totally worried that laminating it and then cutting it right on the edge is going to make it separate, but it, it hasn't. So you can always do that too so that the, the alignment is right, but I always do it that way. Really good. And then again, I take my little cutter, line it up, cut that piece off. And there's that. So these are all the papers that I'm gonna need to find along with this little timeline guide. So I always do three pages at a time. Like I said, um, that may seem like it's gonna take forever, but it, it really doesn't take forever. Set these here. Always have them aligned. I kind of hold them down like I said, like that. And then I just push the little lever. 
you're doing regular paper, you see how close it is to that edge. So I'm not sure if you wanna adjust it and kind of move it down a little bit um, or up a little bit. I'm just afraid I'm not gonna align it correctly. And then I'm going to ruin it. One thing you probably could do though, it has like this little dot and, oh, you can't even see it. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, so it has like this little dot here in a line and it says standard and then it has the dot up here on this gray ledge and it says oversized. So if you were working with oversized, you would want to stick it up on this top ledge here like so and then you would, you would um, bind it that way. What I did when I first got it is I just took blank pieces of paper and kind of tested it out for myself um, just to see how it needed to be in there, where it needed to be to be aligned, um, but it's, it's fairly easy. Okay, so this is a page that I need inside of this booklet here. Um, I'll glue this on after because I forgot the glue sticks in the schoolroom. But I'm just going to punch holes in this because this separates the timeline for us. Okay, so now I have them all aligned. So I'm gonna take the binding here and I'm just going to start from the top and just work my way down. So now that is binding or bound, okay? So once that's like that, I'm gonna put the front cover on. You could start from the top or bottom, however you would like. Still a beginner at this you guys so don't judge me <laughs> and then I take this back cover so this is the actual back to the book and I'm putting it on the front I'm just gonna uh -oh, hold that sideways there and then for me what I do start clamping it myself just from the top working its way down um, again there is a little thing that you can use I find it harder, um, but you may like it, you know? I don't know, I just, I don't really understand how to use it very well, so my hands don't wanna do what it wants me to do. So, I am just gonna bind it like this, push it pretty, not tight or hard, but you know, hard enough so that it stays. And then, we're almost done. Okay, so now we just flip the back, and there you have it, your own bound book right there. And so what I was mentioning is the reason I do the black one or the backing on the front is because if you did it on the back, if this was on the back, do you see this like binding? So this binding here would actually just move around. See how it just moves around? But once you put the back over it, it holds it so it doesn't slide around. It's not constantly moving. It's between these two pages here. So it holds it in place. So I don't know, I would suggest doing that. Now, whenever you do wanna take this apart, you literally just take it and pull it apart like this. You could do it all the way down. You could use a pen. Um, I saw the binding thing. Where did I just see it? I thought I didn't have it, but this is, this is what it looks like here. To unbind it, you take this little gadget and you just push it all the way down like that. Now, I like unbinding it with this because that is super easy. Shouldn't it be closing, like tightening it? See? Oh, there, okay, maybe I have to squeeze it. So, mm. some of it worked, some of it didn't. I'm doing it wrong, but there you go, you guys. I like to do it with my fingers. If you guys wanna use the little gadget for it, go ahead and do that. You know, whatever is best for you. 
um, but I do like using this to take it apart because you just flip it upside down and just simply and then there you go um, but this is how you bind a book super easy um, I wanted to show you this one so this one was the um, portrait size binding these actually hold 120 pages um or 110 this holds 110 pages not 120 and i just did the black backing on that as well and there you have it you guys another thing that you guys can do is the corners are super sharp when you cut them so maybe round them off and that will be better so that's what i'll be doing but that is it you guys that is how you bind a book with the pro click um now again i am no professional you guys you just saw what i did and you know i am no professional so if i could do it any of you guys could do it um but thank you so much for checking out this channel i hope it was helpful for you and um, i hope you stay tuned for my other videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe the like and the notification bell that way you have notifications whenever i upload new videos also if you guys want to check me out on my instagram it is at simply homeschool 18. all right you guys be blessed and be safe